Hey, I'm Shar, and welcome to readings. Okay, someone was saying something about a Virgo reading. So, let's do that Virgo reading. We're going to the uh, Rider Waite Tarot. And we're going to do a Virgo reading. Whew. Lots of energy coming in. Let's find out if it's for you. Or maybe it's a cross watcher. Let's find out. Let spirit speak. Virgo. Virgo. All right, well, the first thing I have is some sort of, uh, uh, well, it, uh, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more card there. Okay. It appears the sun is not shining very much, but let's hope it does soon. Now, I have something that seemed to have been an absolutely incredible bond. Uh, either a marriage, I mean, I got the Ace of Pentacles, I got the marriage card, I got a gift from God, marriage. <laughs> a gift from the divine, marriage, a gift of two people. Oh, how wonderful. How lovely and how wonderful. And uh, it um, all of a sudden became, all of a sudden became very um, hard to control, hard to steer. I'm not going to say control, but it just seemed to have been very hard to steer through it. Something happened. It's a shame, but something happened. Now, what could have happened is maybe this guy got involved. Maybe some sort of temptation. Come on now. Alcohol. Somebody began to drink a lot. You know, even overworking, if you're in a relationship and you're married and maybe you got kids or something and family, even overworking to try to support them can be a, a, a temptation uh, because you're, you're never there and you're trying your best to, to make ends meet and you might have been working and working and working, but also there's this... There could have been a uh, drug use. I'm really not picking that up at all, though. I'm not picking that up. Unless, of course, it might have been uh, maybe somebody was on drugs to control a health problem or a, a, a mental thing. Like um, maybe someone was on... I really don't know too many names of these drugs, but... I, we'll, we'll go with Valium. Maybe somebody was on quite a bit of Valium. But there seems to have been there was something here, but but then someone saw a ship. And a messenger came, and the messenger was, this is not your ship. Holy crap. Someone saw a ship, Virgo, but then a messenger came and a messenger told you, and this messenger could have been your own um, intuition. This messenger told you with the sun in the reverse, that's not your ship. So whose friggin' ship came in? What the hell happened here? Because I see this was a lovely, lovely marriage. And then all of a sudden it just became so topsy-turvy, so ungrounded with the earthquake card here, and it appears with the devil here, well, there could have been any number of things that could have happened, because it's not shown here in the cards, but it could be any number of things, I mean, if you think about the devil card, I mean, it's a massive list of things that it could be, but let's continue on. And so what you thought was really good, what you thought was really good with the King of Pentacles was actually, um, there was actually an ending here with the Death Card. So with the King of Pentacles, what you thought may have been the King of Pentacles at one time, and you might have been, come on now, Virgo, I'm not saying that you're not now, but I'm going to have to say when you were with somebody, it appears that, damn it, you had a good life. 
uh, I mean, it was, it was blessed. It was a blessed life. Now, it, it could have been maybe, maybe this is actual death. And maybe someone passed away. But now things are different here. So let's get some cards and let's find out exactly what's going on. Spirit, bring us into the now. Spirit. Let's come into the now. You're going to have to have strength. All right. You're going to need some strength here. And the Queen of Cups is here, which is telling me that you've got a lot of emotion built up. Virgo, you, you need strength because there's a lot of emotion that's built up within you here. And, and the reason there's a lot of emotion is because I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. Before we shift, before something happens that's going to take us a leap ahead, we feel very emotional. We feel like, oh my God, why do I feel like crying all the time? Or, oh my God, why do I feel so drained? Or, oh my God, I'm just so freaking exhausted. But something's different here. And, and the emotions that you're feeling, and Spirit is saying you've got to strengthen yourself because of these emotions that you're having. And it could be, emotion doesn't have to be like breaking down and crying. It could be, I'm just sick and tired of being sick and tired. That's an emotion. But get ready for the world. You're getting ready to shift. And these things, before we shift, it is always very, very uncomfortable. So use your high priestess and tell yourself, or your high priest, come on guys, I'm talking to you too. But use your high priestess or your high priest and tell yourself what's really happening here. You know, the past, there was something about the past that was, it was really freaking good and then something happened. Someone listened to the devil. Someone fell into temptation and it is what it is and it was what it was. Whether it was you that fell into temptation or whether it was someone else. But it doesn't really matter. And why doesn't it matter? Because it's the past. It is what it is. And it's time to move on. It's time to feel the pain. Feel the burn. Gather up your strength. And get ready. you got to watch your emotions because your emotions... Um, can take you into a <laughs> a whole different lifestyle. Now what I'm saying here, I'm going to try to bring it into words because hearing it from spirit, trying to bring it into words is just so hard sometimes. So yeah, you're, you're going to shift. You can feel different. You feel different already. And you're feeling, what the hell is wrong with me? Well, use your intuition. Because your intuition is telling you that you're shifting. But sometimes things can happen, Virgo. And we can become, sometimes I'll call it a warrior. It is someone who suddenly doesn't want love. Doesn't feel love. Uh, just feels empty, but yet carrying on. You know what I mean? Strong, determined. But the thing is, is I have the Eight of Swords here, which is what I I call the Mind Tornado, followed by the Queen of uh, of Spades, the Queen of Swords. <laughs> so what I have here is all up in your head. The thoughts are swirling, swirling. This is after the shift. The thoughts are swirling and swirling and swirling. And making judgment calls. So what, where have you gone in the shift? You have gone from where you were to all of a sudden, I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. Or why am I so tired? Or, or why am I so freaking crabby? Or why am I so mean lately? Or... But I don't, I don't want you to use this shift. I don't want you to become this. I don't want you to become all up in your head and very freaking judgmental. Because this is kind of what I'm picking up here. Now let's shuffle some cards and let's hope to hell that that's only for a little while. And I can understand hurt. 
but uh, I want you to not work, not work on these feelings, okay? So what we have here, thank you, Spirit, is, uh, Virgo, what we have here is kind of a warning to you. You can be very bitter. You can be angry when you see people in love. You can be judgmental. You can be just miserable and nasty if you want. But I want to tell you, don't work on it. Instead, release it. Let it go. Find it boring. Tell yourself, now see, this is why you need the strength. Because you're shifting. This is why you need the strength. You need the strength because suddenly these new emotions are coming in. And these new emotions are, I don't care. They can all go to hell. Everybody can go to hell. And, and it's just hurt. It's not so much anger. I hope you understand what I'm saying here. Sometimes we go through phases where we feel that. And, and this is what I'm picking up. It's some sort of a phase that you'll be going through. Where you're saying to yourself, I just, you know, I'm all up in my head. I thought I was going to shift for good. And I thought my good was coming. Don't hang on to it, okay? Don't hang on to it. Let the passion go with the Knight of Wands. Let that passion go. You don't want that. Go to calmer waters. Because then we have the Ace of Cups coming out here. These are blessings or new love. You don't want to find new love. But the thing is, okay, so here's the impatience now coming in. So Virgo, all right, so what I have here is one shift after another, after another. This is a Virgo that just doesn't know what, what's happening how, or how to handle this. What do I do? <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a Virgo who's like a high priest or a high priestess that is saying, you know what, I'm going to use my intuition. I'm going to let things go from the past and I'm going to do this. But I see you do that, and then you kind of, it gets old, it gets stale on board. So let me try to do that, and we're going to do that now. But it just seems like you're going through all these phases, but nothing seems to work. It's because I really do feel, Virgo, is that you're trying to find yourself. And you're trying to find yourself in the outside world. And that's just definitely, definitely not going to work. And then we become impatient. Blessings and impatience with the weight card in the reverse. This is, I, I don't want to wait. I want my blessings. I want love. I want, when I say I'm going to go to calmer water, I want to go to calmer water. When I say I want strength, then I want strength. But they just seem to be, I don't want to say passing fancies because they're not. But they seem to pass by. And then there's something else. And it's, it's a constant, constant kind of searching for something that you're not going to find outside. What I'm kind of seeing here is you got to go with it. Let's pick another card. With the Four of Pentacles, hold on. Hold on to something. Now, normally this means hold on to your cash. But let's go with Spirit. Hold on. Hold on. With the Nine of Wands in the reverse, this is good. This is good. <clears throat> now, I want you to hold on to you. I want you to hold on to the thought that you do have your blessings and that you do have this big ace of cups overflowing but the thing is Virgo has said I think you're trying to master too much I think you're trying to find yourself through too many activities or or, or too many thought uh, processes or well let's watch this on TV well okay now let's watch this and, and it's just information overload and none of it really seems to be giving you the answers of what you're looking for. But I'm going to tell you the answers. Doors opening. The answers are within. Um, see, now, 
the door opens and then we get the tower. Virgo, when you were with somebody here in the past, it just seemed like everything was okay. It's, it's structured. Uh, I got a structured life here and then something happened. And I really think this was the very beginning when something happened that you realize that there really was no stability. And I think you're trying to find that stability elsewhere. Use your intuition. I, I do see you hip hopping and jumping everywhere like, like you're just bouncing. I see you talking to your friends and, and, and then you'll go, I'm not, for example, I'm not going to talk about people anymore. And then you get with a friend and next thing you know you're talking about somebody. And then you bounce. Okay, um, I'm not going to talk about people anymore. And then you do. Or um, I promise that I'm going to try to love everybody and try to see things that their way because we're all connected and, and, and on and on and on and, 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 and we bomb. <laughs> That's all right. Or I'm going to try to date again and we bomb. And so I just see this hip hopping, this bouncing, jumping and looking and searching, but yet not really what I would call if I was to meet you, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that you were a looking and searching kind of person. But I would say that your your energy, your energy within, is always noticing. What was that? Oh, who's that? Oh, what? Oh, what's going on over there? There's nothing wrong with that. But be careful what doors that you open. Because I do have a door opening here. Be careful what doors open. Especially when you're looking for yourself out there. Now what is this door that's opening? You tell me. What door are you trying to open? Is it the door of love? Well, be careful. Be careful. Knowing that this might not be love. Is a door to riches and success? Is it a better job? Be careful that door opening. Be careful and make sure you read all the fine print because it might not be such a, success, a successful thing as you think it might be. So be careful with doors opening. Look behind it first. Let's find out who's there. Well, we do have an Aries and we have a Scorpio. We have a Cancer. Sagittarius is here. There's Pisces. Virgo. Pisces is here again. Leo. Scorpio. Taurus is here. Capricorn. And Leo again. These are the signs that are prominent in your reading. Virgo. If you like the way I read... Please like and share. And on your way out, please reach back and hit that subscribe button. Spirit and I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to ring the bell so you know the next time that we're in the room to speak with you. Thank you, Spirit. Namaste. Namaste.